Hey guys, just wanted to show you a quick video of one of two reef tanks that I've got. This is my larger one. It's a 75 gallon uh, Perfecto tank fed by a 29 gallon sump that probably holds about 20, maybe a little upwards of 25 gallons of water. Uh, for flow in the tank, we've got three of the Jabao WP-25s, one of the WP-10s up there in the back. I've uh, got a few fish here. A couple of Ocellaris clowns hosting in this frog spawn here. I've got this beautiful Achilles tang, uh, babysitting him for a friend just while he gets his tank set up. Uh, Red Sea sailfin. Also got the hippo tang over here. Uh, I've got a couple of wrasses as well. This guy, Orangeback Fairy Rass, he's probably my favorite. Very interactive. He will actually swim right up to my hand when I go in the tank and let me pet him. Uh, we also got the Leopard Rass here, a little bit shyer. Cool fish though. And the Piles Fairy Rass. Bengay Cardinal. There's a Sailfin Blenny. I don't know if you can make him out in the rock work there. And there is a Green Mandarin in the tank as well, but he usually hangs around the back. I uh, got a couple of starfish, a couple sand sifting starfish. Got this guy back here. Uh, blood shrimp, coral banded shrimp. Had a little bit of a cyano issue lately on the sand bed here. I had the intake of the skimmer get clogged up by a bit of keto that uh, ended up flowing out of the refugium. And so the skimmer wasn't performing very well. Uh, once I got that issue addressed, uh, the cyano has been retreating, and so I expect within the next week or two. Uh, we'll probably be seeing no more of that. Also started dosing a few months ago. Uh, really taken a liking more to the SPS since I started dosing. Uh, they've colored up a lot better. Seen phenomenal growth from the SPS. Uh, especially the Digitata here, the Pocalopora in the back there has been growing really nicely. Polyp extension, really, really nice. Uh, this one was pretty much dead when I got it. Uh, it ended up coming back pretty nicely. The polyps on that are really nicely extended. Got a bonsai, yellow tinea. Picture here just does not do it justice. It's probably my favorite SPS that I've got. A few more there. LPS and softies mostly on the bottom. Uh, Octospawn, the Duncan here, really, really nice Duncan. Again, photos just do not do it justice. Got a couple of acans down on the sand bed here that are doing pretty well. These polyps, uh, really, really nicely extended. Got the Elegance, really big fan of the Elegance. A couple of Rycordia there that have attached to rocks. A little Euphilia Garden, a couple of Pallies. I've got another little bit of Rycordia Garden started over here. Tanks controlled by an Apex. Uh, I've got the four probes. I'll just switch the light on for the refugium here. Uh, so we've got the temperature, pH, salinity, and ORP probes. I don't really pay much attention to ORP. I got a really good deal on the gold package, so I said, what the heck. Uh, salinity, pH, and temp I monitor pretty closely though. Uh, refugium here, we got Keto, Dead Man's Fingers, and about 15 pounds of rock. Uh, lit by a Philips Spiral CFL, it's a 13 watt bulb, 6500K, it grows these algaes like crazy, great light. You buy them in two packs for like five bucks. They do really, really well. Just got this uh, clamp lamp here from Walmart for I think four or five dollars. Can't go wrong. We got the uh, Curve 5 for a skimmer here. Like I said, it was clogged up with keto a little bit, but uh, is a wonderful skimmer. I think the price point on them is really, really good as well. Uh, as you can hear, it's running. It's virtually silent. Really great skimmer. Big fan of it. Running bio pellets here. Just a little bit of bio pellets uh, out of the Fosban 150 reactor that I've just very easily modified to run with the bio pellets. And then we've got the Reef Octopus RODC 3500 Gen 2. Great little pump, also very, very quiet pump. I'm a big fan of these pumps, uh, which is also feeding the reactor here. Uh, just a standard five gallon top off bucket. 
So that's my tank there, guys. Uh, stay tuned. Next week I'll make a video of my Fluval Edge tank. Happy reefing.